Who is yes. it? I'm in a tiny little closet. Hello? I'll just stay in here. Thank you. I don't want to leave. Mm. I'm good. I'm good in my tiny little closet. I've got a bed and everything. Dear diary, several children, including my friend Albert, had to leave for surgery. Sister Madeline says it's to help them feel better. But I don't understand why they have to go so far away for it. They didn't even look sick. In addition to the operation, we were told that these children would have to remain isolated. A special room for a certain period of time. It's called quarantine. It scares the hell out of me. I'm sad my friend Albert is gone. I hope he'll be back soon, in top form. Sister Madeline is very busy looking after sick children. I hope she won't fall ill either. She's good to us. See you tomorrow, diary. Um, yeah. We'll stay here, okay, thanks. Okay. Um... Excuse? What? Who? What? Okay. And who? Is that Sister Madeline? Let's go talk to her. Or not? It's fine. Dear Dad, how are things over there? I hope you're doing well. At the orphanage, the days are sometimes a bit sad. Sister Madeline has been looking worried lately, and that makes us all a little worried. At school, I have as much fun as I can with my friends, but I often think of you, and I'd really like you to come back soon. Take care of yourself, okay? I look forward to seeing you. Louis. I thought, that's a telephone? Um, I thought that was a flashlight. Sister Matt? Okay. How many days have passed? What happened here? Um... What did happen here? Um, sir? Oh, we've got a head. We've got a head in a pot. Code head. <laughs> oh my god, I found some of them. I found more of them. Maybe they could be of use. Keys. We've got keys. Hello. Sister Madeline. Has disappeared again. That's sort of her, her. Am I really at the orphanage? Um. 
Hello? Excuse me? Is that Sister Madeline? In her true form? Oh my god! What was that? Can I go over here? We can. Is anyone there? Uh, there's a guy right here. Sir, what happened to your face? Dear Sister Madeline, I hope you are doing well despite the dark days we are going through. War is raging around us, each day bringing its own share of suffering and loss. But despite it all, I persevere, driven by the hope of a better future for each and every one of us. My thoughts turn to you every day, looking forward to the day when we can finally meet again. Take care of yourself and the children who depend on your compassion and devotion. With all my love, Pierre. Uh, Pierre? Uh, you're missing a face. Um, let's touch it or not. It's fine. October 23rd, 1918. Things are getting weirder at the orphanage. Many of my friends have gone to get treatment and we are very few now. It's so quiet here and it scares me a little bit. Sister Madeline looks very bad these days. She's pale and tired. She says it's nothing, but I see she's in pain. I hope she gets better soon. She's our only protection here. Last night, I had to take a strange medication. It made me sleepy. It made me sleepy, and I started having strange things. Shadows were dancing around me, and I felt like something was looking at me in the dark. It was terrifying. I don't know what's going on here, Journal, but I feel something very dark is happening. I hope this will all end soon. See you tomorrow, Journal. Uh... Okay. The entrance is blocked. Is there any survivors? Um, I'm gonna go with no. Monster? Uh, we found Bro's face. It's stuck to a statue. Um... Albert? Wait, our friend Albert is a stuffed animal? I'm confused. Or was that Albert's stuffed animal? Dragonfly? Nine, 
Is there a safe around here? Oh, right here. Eighteen ninety seven. We've opened a giant door or like a bookcase, a secret door. Leading to an elevator. Ah, looks like we're falling. It's going very fast. A two-headed baby. No. There's someone down there. It's a scary room. Is this the most, the most sinister orphanage we have ever been in? Yes. The answer is yes. General Henry Dubois of the French Army. Dear Dr. Renault, the experiments carried out at the orphanage, although controversial, have brought undeniable advances in the treatment of war amputees, and for that, we are deeply grateful to you. Um, dang. We've made it to the room. Oh no. Oh no. Avec la fin de la guerre, nous mettons fin à l'obligation d'opérer les cobayes. Vous êtes dorénavant libre de disposer des expérimentations comme vous le croyez convenable. Néanmoins, nous vous prions d'éliminer les sujets tels qu'Albert. La confidentialité de ces informations est cruciale. Content sur votre discrétion, nous vous remercions pour vos services et votre compréhension. Général Henri Dubois, armée française. Albert. No way. I need this to be a full game, like now. Oh, 